This is a tiny museum, but we've recently undertaken a major renovation project which has given it new life and energy. Wonderful objects, never on display before, are now seen here for the first time. Hello, welcome to the museum. We had a very tight budget, so I designed most of the displays myself. We only called on specialists to make the display cases and mount the objects when we were sure of what we wanted. We encourage visitors to explore for themselves, to handle the fossils and to discover the treasures hidden in the cabinets of drawers. Small and apparently insignificant objects were brought together to tell the stories of South Wales' commercial and industrial life. This tiny town had its own utility companies, its famous brewery, the salt works and dozens of other enterprises. If you wanted a suit, for example, you had it made by Denny the tailor, who also supplied the writer George Orwell. We have in the museum a copy of Orwell's first novel, inscribed with his real name, Eric Blair, as a gift to a local solicitor. In a town with a turbulent religious history, angels were lucky to survive. This battered but lovely example was carved in the 15th century from a single block of local oak. We found it on top of a cupboard in the church. It was conserved and is now on display for the very first time. Despite its small size, the museum is fully accessible to wheelchair users and the captions have been designed to be as legible as possible for those with limited vision. We also provide audio guides for all the key exhibits. Dogs, however, are not allowed inside, but you're welcome to tether them to the old gas lamp at the entrance to the museum, which was made by George Child in 1848. You may even find that one of us will look after them. These are our greatest treasures, two Viking steering oars that date back to the Norse invasions of Suffolk more than a thousand years ago. They were found by a local fishermen in the 1980s and conserved by the National Maritime Museum at Greenwich before being returned to Southwold to be displayed here in perpetuity. The tall one is massive and wonderfully preserved. It would once have steered a Viking warship as long as this museum.